What up, YouTube? Cyber here, and I thought we would explore a new uh, plugin from Tone Projects called Baselane Pro. I'm in no way affiliated with Tone Projects, other than I just love every plugin that they've put out. The Unison Mastering Compressor and the Kelvin Saturator, uh, the the Kelvin uh, Tone Shaper, man, that thing is amazing. But uh, Baselane Pro is new, so I thought I would dive into it with you and explore what we can get out of this thing. All right, let's take a look. First, I made this little loop for us to mess around with, which is actually all vital patches. I bounced the baseline audio just uh, for the sake of this video. Um, here's what it sounds like. All with vital, every single... Um, Every single sound. I'm working on a side dub preset pack for Vital. So if that's something you might be interested in, definitely subscribe to my channel uh, for updates on that. Uh, hopefully by the end of the year. Um, so here's Baseline Pro. And uh, it's got linear phase mode and real time mode. The linear phase seems to be pretty, so the default seems to be pretty good uh, in terms of preserving the sort of stereo image. Uh, you've got all kinds of monitoring options. This pre is like a bypass. You got delta, listen to just the mids, just the sides, or you could listen to just the sides of the delta, any combination that works for you. Or you could solo just the filtered signal. And this, the way this plugin works is it uh, basically brings up a parallel signal that is filtered and processed with the stereo harmonic section here and dynamics. All of this works on the sort of processed parallel signal as far as I understand it. If for some reason I get anything wrong in this plugin, let me know in the comments. Um, so first, the uh, the audio comes into this sub filter here, which you could use to sort of, say, uh, put it on side and clean up, you know, any, if you had too much side information, you could cut it all up to 150. Uh, you got your regular stereo um, low cut here or you can do the low cut with a uh, resonant boost, which can be nice. Like, let's say, here's my mono bass line. I'm gonna solo it up. Say so I had a little too much sub, I could bring it right there. Maybe give it a little bump for a little extra thump on the bottom. That's kind of cool. Um, since it's a mono bass line, this width control isn't gonna really do anything right now, but we can change that because uh, in the middle it's not doing anything. Let's say you're working on a full mix and you wanted to sort of mono things up a bit. You could you could do that um, around this uh, frequency with the low pass. Um, but let's get into how I am excited about using this plugin, which is creating stereo information from my mono bass. So this stereo harmonic section, you can. Um, create the harmonics from just the sides and that would be no harmonics because this is a mono bass everything's in the middle so you could do the full channel and so in this case that would be the same as creating it from just the mids but if you were say you know doing this on a full mix and you wanted to just bring out the bass a little bit you or, or bass and kick you would just grab the mids here and then i'm going to exaggerate this uh with the amount uh second and third harmonics are sort of the most mellow maybe And we're starting to generate some more width up here. And right now we have the harmonics going just to the sides. Or we can pull it into just the mids. So now we're back to a mono signal, but we're creating sort of harmonics saturating. But let's push that back out and just listen to how that bass opens up. Here it is in the mix. I'm going to bring them up, exaggerate them. Before. After. Bass is maybe a little quiet in the mix on the before, but you get the idea. It's not subtle in this example on purpose.
Let's hear what the even and odd sound like. Even a little more aggressive. It's got a built-in limiter that is low frequency focused. It's not gonna destroy your bass. And I'm narrowing it. Let's make it even wider now. One cool trick is to put this to band pass and really tune where that low end shines. Getting a lot of mid-range up here. Check that out. Before. Let's listen to just the filtered frequency. Just the sides. This is what we're working on here, right? Let's compress it. That can help bring it out, bring out some of the quieter moments. Affecting the punch a little bit. But it's just in this side. Let's hear the mids. Obviously a bit extreme, but that's how you learn these plugins. Now this damp in here, this is basically a high cut and it's a very gentle slope. So even cutting down pretty low here, sometimes when you're generating a lot of saturation, it can get a little bit too much up top. So this is a nice way to sort of pull back any of that sort of harsher saturation that's happening up higher. But like I'm hearing stuff even up here, I'm guessing it's a six dB slope. It's, it's pretty gentle. And now this dynamic section, I don't know how, uh, it's based off Unisom mastering compressor, which is a phenomenal compressor. But let's say you wanted to, um, this just affects this um, process signal, what you're hearing if you hit solo, not which is being brought up in parallel with your full mix. So if you wanna set this, I think it's probably good to solo. And you will hear, let's do the full mix, the full signal. So it's tuned for sort of low end punch. So if you want to tighten a bit, you can tighten, or if you want to sort of exaggerate a bit. I mean, that sounds pretty dope to me. Let's hear what it sounds like. It's maybe a little aggressive. You could also just have the um, compressor working on the sides. Yeah. So one last thing to mention is this mono recovery section, which is some wizardry that let's say you were um, uh, working on a full mix and you wanted to sort of monoize from like 200 down um, you know sometimes like you might have like low toms on your drums or something that uh, you know might get a little bit lost uh, because they're panned hard and when you mono the low end they kind of disappear and so this is some wizardry where like let's say you had a tom on the left that's like oh man where'd that go i want it you could recover that a little bit most likely most of the time you would just use auto and set this amount and a lot of that it it like it's like an anti phase cancellation wizard thing going on here so uh if any of you have tried that and had good results let me know i haven't had a chance to use it yet um enough to know how good it is but Knowing tone projects, I'm pretty sure it works awesome. So um, the other thing to mention is you can get more or less of the sort of saturation by holding shift, and these are linked input outputs, so you can drag up and down and get more or less saturation that way. Um, 
I assume that also might affect this width, but maybe not. Um, I think it's probably mostly just for the stereo harmonics, but um, let me know in the comments if you've discovered anything about that too. So if you haven't, please subscribe. Hope uh, you had fun checking this plugin out with me. And uh, until next time, peace out.